Hello students, today we are going to detect uh, the presence of phenol in a given sample. The phenol means uh, the hydroxy group attached with the benzene ring that is the aromatic ring. So how will we detect the sample given sample is the phenol or not? So we have a small quantity of sample, we have a small quantity of sample you can uh, see it is uh, oily looking substance. Okay. So uh, how will you, how will we uh, detect the presence of uh, phenol in a given sample? So let us check. So what are the test uh, can be given? So at the first time uh, we will check whether the substance is the aliphatic or organic. If a substance is aliphatic it will burn with the white fumes whereas if the substance is the aromatic it will burn with the, it will burn with a sooty flame or it will give a black soot. Uh, if a black soot is given by the compound it means that uh, it means that the compound is the aromatic in nature whereas if the white flames is given by the compound then it is the aliphatic in nature. So let us check the compound whether it is aliphatic or aromatic. So we have a burner just uh, lit the burner letting the burner okay. So we will move the flame. You will see the flame will be blue. We have a tongue, we have a tongue, and we have a piece of metal. We will burn the metal so that uh, uh, the impurity, the impurity will burn out. The impurity will burn out, and uh, on a clean piece of the metal on a clean piece of the metal we will add a small quantity of uh, the given sample and check and check whether it is an organic compound or aliphatic compound means uh, it is the aromatic compound or uh, aliphatic compound. So I am taking a small drop compound in this metal. On placing on the burner, let us see what happens. See, it is burning having a black suit. It is burning with a black suit. The black suit, black suit observed, the black suit observed show that the given compound is the aromatic hydrocarbon. It is the kind of aromatic hydrocarbon. So, it is a dry test for the phenol in which we can see that the given organic compound is aromatic hydrocarbon. We have taken a small quantity of sample and to this we will add small quantity of FeCl3 solution. So let us see what happen, what happens, few drops, few drops, not more, few drops. So see, it has given the violet coloration. The violet coloration will more appear in aqueous solution, so we are adding a small quantity of uh, water. So you can see, you can see it is the clear violet color we have observed. It means that, it means that this is the confirmatory test of the phenol that the phenol when combines with the ferric chloride solution, ferric, aqua solution of ferric chloride it gives the violet coloration. It means that the, the test is the confirmatory test of the phenol, the substance actually contains phenol. Second test is the Leverman test for the phenol. So what we are doing, we have taken a small quantity of sample and uh, we are using a test tube holder, okay, we are using test tube holder. and. Uh, to this a small quantity of sodium nitrite NaNO2 is added, NaNO2 you can say the sodium nitrite we have, to this we are adding a small quantity of sodium nitrite crystal. Let us see we are adding, we will mix it, we will mix it carefully the sodium nitrate we have added and we will fuse the mass, we will fuse the mass. Let us see what happens, we will fuse the mass, the sodium nitrate we have added, 
with the phenol and we are fusing the mass. So let us see what happens. And the content, the content uh, will be cooled, cooled for some time. The content will be cooled for some time. We have taken a small quantity of uh, water in it, so that content can be cooled. The burner is switched off. And to this, we'll add few drops of around 1 ml of conch H2SO4 which is very dangerous so we have to take care about this we have to be very very careful to add conch H2SO4 around 1 ml very carefully we will add On adding it will give a deep green color or blue color oh it's coming out it's coming out you can see here it's coming out and uh, you can see this is the green color is coming out we'll uh, run some uh, water or water we'll find the change in color and this color is changing from green to red the color is changing from green to red. You can observe the change in color over here. The mass has been completely red. So this kind of test is observed. This kind of test is observed uh, when the substance contains some phenolic group. Mm. Means uh, what we have done we have taken a small quantity, we have taken a small quantity of sample, we have added small quantity of um, sodium nitrite to it and we have fused the mass and then we have added around 1 ml of uh, concentrated sulfuric acid very carefully and then we have observed the formation of a green precipitate. Uh, uh, first it formed blue, uh, blue to violet and then it greens and then on addition with uh, water it uh, gives a uh, red precipitate so this is uh, this is a liverman test for detection of phenol so this is uh, how this is how we have uh, detected the presence of phenol in the given organic sample that is for today thank you